Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the media file required for this project. You can download all of them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create photos to sketch animation. Create a new composition. Name it as sketch 1. For this sketch composition, I will set the time duration to 7 seconds only. Here you are free to increase or decrease the composition time duration. Now let's add the media file to the timeline, you need to scale your image if needed, here I will scale my media file. This is picture of my bike and me which I have clicked recently. You can also use video files. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it, here I will name it as media, select move attribute into new composition. Now for this media composition. In effects and preset, search for levels. Add it to the media composition. Here we will slightly adjust the levels, set input white to, 125. Set output white to, 225. Now in effects and preset, search for threshold. Add it to the media file. For threshold, set level to, 160. Now in effects and preset, search for invert, add it to the media file. From the project panel, let's add the pencil texture media file to the timeline, place it below media file. For texture, change track mat to, luma mat media. Let's slightly scale this texture media file. Perfect. Sketch 1 is ready. Similarly, you can create two more sketch compositions or you can simply create two duplicates of this sketch composition. Now open sketch 2 composition, let's make few small changes to the media composition, in effects control panel. Let's set threshold to, 125. For levels, set input black to, 120. Input white to, 160. Output white to, 250. Now slightly adjust the gamma value. Perfect. Here you can see the difference between the two sketch compositions. Now open the third sketch composition, for media file, let's make few changes, in effects control panel. Here you can set the value or, you can also adjust it, Set it to near about 30. Now adjust the input white value. Set it to near about 235. Set gamma to 2.50. Adjust the output black value. Set it to near about, 120. Set output white to near about, 170. Set threshold to, 120. Here you are free to adjust the levels settings. Depending on your image file you can adjust the levels. Perfect. Here our three sketch media files are ready. Now let's see how to bring them in single composition to create sketch effect. Create a new composition. I will name it as reveal. 
from project panel, let's add the paper texture media file to the timeline. Scale this texture media file to fit the composition. Perfect. Now let's add the first sketch composition to the timeline. For sketch composition, let's change the mode to multiply. Now let's add the brush media file to the timeline. For this brush media file, go to Time, select Enable Time Remapping. Now stretch the media file. Perfect. For brush, press R to bring up rotation, set rotation to, minus 50. Press S to bring up scales, unlink it. Now increase the scale value to fill up the screen. Perfect. You can see the preview. For this sketch composition, change mode to Luma Matte Brush. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the second sketch composition to the timeline. Change mode to Multiply. Now add brush media composition to the timeline. Enable time remapping. Stretch it. Perfect. For second sketch composition, change track matte to luma matte brush. Select second sketch composition and brush composition. Place the matte one second on the timeline. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the third sketch composition to the timeline. Now add the brush media file. For brush enable time remapping. Stretch it. For sketch 3, let's change the mode to multiply. Change track matte to luma matte brush. Now select both layers. Place them at 2 seconds on the timeline. You can see the preview. If you want you can rotate the brush layer. Now let's add the media composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for find edges. Add it to the media composition. Change blend with original to 30%. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to media composition. For this media composition, change mode to, multiply. From project panel, let's add the ink media file to the timeline. For media composition, change track matte to luma matte ink. Now at 2 seconds and 5 frames, we will place the media and ink layer. Now for this ink media file. In effects and preset. Search for invert. Add it to the ink media file. You can see the preview. Perfect. For this media composition, let's adjust the opacity, set the opacity to 50%. Now if you want to view the original media file, then you need to create duplicate of this two media and ink layer. Let's place them at 3 seconds. For this media composition, remove the fine edges and tint effect. For media composition, let's set the opacity to 100%. Now let's add the light leak. From project panel, add the light leak media file to the timeline. Change mode to screen. If you want you can also scale this light leak. Perfect. 
Now let's see the complete preview. Here our photo sketch reveal animation is created. Similarly, you can create multiple compositions and create different types of project from it. You can use it for wedding invitations or any other type of slideshow. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial. Thank you.